on on Empire Strikes Back, I've I've seen you talk in in an interview that there was actually a an idea to make the walkers robotic and actually sort of remote controlled robots uh, for the scenes. And, uh, and then you opted to do it in stop motion. Just, just out of curiosity, like, were you guys really going to build walking robotic, like walkers? Was that, was that really in the budget? Well, you know, uh, there's, you know, there were a number of people in charge, you know, there's Richard Edlin, me, um, there are other folks in there. Brian Johnson was in there. This, it was not my idea to do a walking robot walker. It was just a discussion, but I just thought you can't do that. I, you know, having gone through what on some of the previous shows, when the, you get those sort of robotics and mechanical stuff that's never been done before. They may be wonderful, but they cost a fortune. They go over budget. They never get done on time. Mm -hmm. And the movie's got to get done on time. You know, we just barely got Star Wars done. We just barely got Close Encounters done. We just barely got I mean, anything in there, just barely, barely got done. So I just I just didn't want to do it. And then, and for whatever reason, George said, fine. And I thought, dude, you know, Dennis, you do the sequence I wanted to do anyway. So he <laughs> said, fine. So me and Phil and you know, my other oh. pals came on. Yeah. How, how long did it take for you guys to film those walkers and, <laughs> and, and like, you know, that, that entire sequence that we see to us, you know, goes by in like in a flash, but to you, when you look at that, do you remember weeks or months? What, what, what kind of timeline are we looking at? You know, you start with building the stuff and that takes, you know, weeks to build it, figure out, and I'm not involved in this part, but getting in the, the mechanical part to work. You know, with blueprints, you know, Tom Santamon engineering the walker to get it to work. He'd done a lot of that before. So it's like, you know, weeks to get it ready or two months. We had to get the backgrounds up, the whole setup. I wanted to do it like, you know, King Kong had been done, where you look through the camera and that's it. You see the finished shot, except for the speeders flying by, through the camera. I, I wanted to avoid blue screen or any of that sort of stuff. And it took a while to get that going. And the actual shooting of it, you know, it'd be a matter of three to four months probably. Something like that. Wow, some done on big sets, some done on blue screens, all sorts of different things coming together. 